I'm Sean Galloway, the president of ProAx Safety. I'd like to speak to you today about the four types of safety behaviors. Behaviors have always played a role in safety since the beginning of time. Now they fall into two categories and there are four types of them. There are culture related behaviors and there's also injury and incident prevention behaviors. Now the types that they fall into are both mandatory and discretionary for injury and incident prevention and mandatory and discretionary for culture. What are the behaviors that are required of people in your organization? Those would fall into the mandatory ones. Now, how do you address those types of behavior? Through control. You don't say, pretty please lock out, tag out. Those are things you have to do to remain employed in many organizations. Now, there are also behaviors that are discretionary, like don't put any part of your body where your eyes haven't previously scanned, what we call eyes on task or eyes on path. Keep yourself out of the path of the potential for moving energy line of fire. So there's mandatory injury and incident prevention behaviors and discretionary ones. The discretionary ones for injury and incident prevention, the way you address those is through influence. You can't write a rule that says thou shalt look where you're going, even though it's a good idea. From a cultural perspective, there are behaviors that are required, like you can't harass somebody. There are behaviors that are required, like you have to show up to most safety training or report certain types of events within a certain period of time. But there's also discretionary behaviors, like what if all of the employees receive safety magazines, like Canadian Occupational Safety? What if they receive magazines at their home, read them to bring in new ideas into the organization? Wouldn't that be a wonderful behavior that's common in your organization? Now, how do you address that? You don't control it like you do the mandatory behaviors. You have to influence it. Think about the behaviors in your organization. Are they mandatory or are they discretionary? How are you addressing them? For more information on this topic, visit us at ProAxSafety.com. Thank you. Have a wonderful week.